Hey everybody, this is Dan. Uh, today I'd like to share a chess puzzle with everybody. The puzzle comes from a game that was played in 1961 between two very strong grandmasters. Um, the white pieces were played by Max Ova, uh, spelled E-U-W-E, -E, which is a name you may have seen but is uh, extremely difficult to pronounce and I, I probably got it wrong. And the black pieces were played by former world champion Mikhail Tall, who uh, many regard as one of the greatest and definitely the most exciting and tactical chess players of all time. So, in this particular position, it's black to move, so feel free to pause the video, take a look at the position, see what the best continuation would be for black. When you're ready to hear the solution, you can press play. Okay, so the solution to this puzzle is actually a forced draw by perpetual check, and we can ask ourselves first, why does black want to force a draw? Well, the most obvious reason is that if we count the material, on the white side we have two rooks, two knights, one bishop, six pawns, which totals 25 points in material. And on the black side we have one queen, one rook, one knight, and five pawns, which totals 22 points in material. So basically, um, the most obvious reason why black would want to force a draw is that white is ahead in material. And so um, obviously Tall saw nothing better than to, to draw the game rather than risk losing it. So he went in for this combination. So. The drawing combination starts out with a queen sacrifice, tall played, queen takes pawn on b2, check. Um, since the queen on b2 is supported by the black knight, the only legal move for white is knight takes queen, after which black can play knight to a3, check, and the king has two choices here. If white chooses to move the king to c1, this is a terrible blunder, so see if you can see how black should continue in this position. Okay, in this position, black plays rook takes pawn on c2, and this is actually mate. So, to avoid this, it's better for the king to go over to a1, which allows the knight to check on c2, grabbing a pawn and checking the king. The only legal move here is moving the king back to b1, after which the knight jumps back to a3, the king goes back to a1, the knight jumps back to c2, checking, the king uh, once again goes back to b1, the knight goes back to a3, the king goes back to a1, and this way the position will repeat three times, and therefore the draw is forced. So black is actually able to sacrifice the queen, not, just, not to checkmate the king as you so often see in puzzle books, but in this particular case, the queen sacrifice is just to force a draw. So removing that pawn so the knight can jump into a3, and the king has to go to a1, and then you just see that we have this dance between the knight and the king. Um, after which the position repeats three times and the draw is forced. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. Um, I'll share another video as soon as I can, and thanks for the support.